Hey guys, I'm Miranda and welcome to Books 101. Today we're going to be discussing the third instalment in Lorraine Kate's Fallen series, Passion. Also, this is part three of my five-part Fallen series review. I love Passion. This is probably my most favourite book in the series. We finally get to see more about Lucy and Daniel, where they came from and their past lives. We're a step closer to finding out what makes Daniel and Lucy's love tick. A lot of people don't consider Passion as their favourite book in the series. They either like Fall in the Most or Rapture. I don't know, I like Passion. I, I have this thing for love stories set back in the old days and how someone can love someone through generations and everything. This is kind of getting into my infernal devices mode. How Tessa loved Will, you know, 130 years after. It was just, you know, I, I, I just have something about past lives. I don't know what it is. So, Passion is the sequel to Torment. And it continues from where Torment left off. Luz has just stepped through an announcer in her backyard. And she's about to go on her quest to find out more about herself, her past lives, and more about the curse. Passion is really interesting because you finally get to see Daniel's point of view. The whole time it's been Luz's point of view, what Luz's thought. Now we finally get to see what Daniel thinks about it all. It's got this format where one chapter is told from Luz's perspective as she travels through that past life and the next is told from Daniel's perspective as he's trying to catch up with her to rescue her before she rewrites history. Also we have a new character as Luz jumps from announcer to announcer she meets Bill. Bill's like this little gargoyle thing and he helps her learn more about her past lives and more about the curse. It actually teaches her how to cleave with her past lives which is like going 3D. This is a fun book to read especially um, <laughs> when Luz is a spectator to some of her past lives. She sees herself as a snob in England and another one she's like a nurse in Italy and then a slave in Egypt. So in the two first books we understand that Luz and Daniel are fated to be together. But in Passion you really get to see how their love played throughout history. Start to begin to understand where they came from. And each past life that Luz visits, she learns more about herself and she also learns more about the curse and why she loves Daniel. Okay, so that's the end of the non-spoiler section. If you don't want to be spoiled, ta-ta. If you know how the book plays out, keep watching. Yeah, don't trust the gargoyle. He's Lucifer. Oh my gosh, no offense, but Luz was really stupid. I mean, at the start, I really trusted Bill. He, he was nice, he, he helped her learn more about announcer travel and the curse and her past lives. At the same time I thought, I think this guy has a goal of his own. Seriously Luz, put two and two together. Don't appear in front of any fallen angel and he starts to act really stubborn and weird in the end and he nearly tries to kill you. He tells Luz that, oh if you take this star shot and kill the inner part of you that's immortal, you and Daniel will then be no longer tied. Seriously Luz, you're really gonna trust the little gargoyle. The thing that made me really upset about this book, we didn't get to see the first time that Luz and Daniel met. It was annoying because the first time I read it, I was like, oh yes, we finally get to see how they first met each other. But we don't. So Daniel getting tricked by the scale. That, I thought Daniel... Don't you see there's something wrong? At the end the scale walks away laughing, I just think, Daniel, let me see. Lucifer actually failed. He was the one that allowed Daniel to create the whole loophole. I liked how we see Daniel's perspective. In the first two books, we don't really get to know his personality. Fallen, he's all, stay away from me, Luce, I don't want to talk to you. And then in Torment, he's just like, stay in shoreline. Then we actually got to know more about him. And you actually got to see how much he loves Luce. It's not just the curse, they generally love each other. My favourite past life would probably have to be Italy. Because you see Luce as like a young nurse. You know, she's all happy, happy, happy. And then when she sees Daniel, it's just like, I thought that was a really cute past life. But at the end, Lucifer opens up an announcer to catch all the fallen angels and transport them into the future. It will make the whole of history be rewritten. Oh. And then Lucifer will cleave with his past self and be like, yeah, the man. Seriously, Lucifer. Luce will not want to be with you, okay? She loves Daniel. Just relax. If you enjoy my passion book talk, to check out more book talks on the Fallen series, head to my channel. I'm Miranda. See ya.